So I thought we would sit down and we would do a good old Amazon haul. I have a bunch of stuff in front of me that is kind of transitioning us into fall. There's fashion, skincare, makeup. I have the gamut in here. Even some homewares, some things that are in my house as decorative pieces. So I'm excited to share all those with you. And I also wanted to tell you that I am going to get back to the numbering system. So there will be a number come up on the screen that corresponds with the product that I'm sharing with you and then you can just go down into the description box find that number and you'll be able to find the product and the link if you'd like to shop that way and oh my goodness let's address the brown elephant in the room i decided to go ahead and color my hair kind of a warm neutral brown and I was supposed to have a lot of really big highlights in here. Unfortunately, I didn't get quite the highlights that I wanted to, but I still really like it. So yes, you're not seeing things. Your girl went a little bit brown. So I probably will be doing a little bit different eye colors and stuff, which is nice after seven and a half years of being on YouTube. You guys see, get to see a little bit of a different side to me. So stay tuned for those different colors. Also, everything about what I'm wearing, whatever jewelry it is, clothing, all that, we're gonna bump that to the end of the video. It just seems to be a little bit easier because it can be a bit confusing when I'm showing you what I'm wearing immediately after we start the video. A lot of people were like, I came here for the makeup and you're showing us clothing. So it gets confusing. We're gonna skip over that confusion and we're gonna just put it towards the end of the video. So look for it there if you're curious. And let's just hop right in. Now, before we get to the end of summer, I really wanted to share with you what I have been absolutely in love with this summer for a faux tan. I'm not somebody that is it gets into the sun very much. I did it when I was younger. I was the person that sat with slathered in baby oil with that foil thing in front of them, but I wish I had known better. So if you're younger, perk up your ears because you're gonna wanna wear your SPF. But if you like a nice, pretty tan, this one has done it for me this summer and I was so surprised by it and here's why. First of all, this is called Too Tan to Give a Damn and this is by B Tan. This one is called the Insanely Dark. So it's the one right before the darkest that they have. But this, what's weird about it is that when you put it onto the mitt or you put it on your body and then you're rubbing it in, it actually has a very ashy tone and I was like, Ooh, I am not gonna like this, but I'll give it a chance and I'll, you know, do what I need to do and try it. It was so awesome. I looked very ashy, you know, through the night. You know, I put mine on before I go to bed. When I woke up in the morning and I went ahead and I just rinsed everything off, I was shocked at how beautiful this tan is. It is probably the most natural looking color that I've ever seen. And it's lasts me longer as well, as far as how long the tan lasts. I would say that this is at least a week and that's what I've got on right now. This is at least a week and normally it's really going away by now. So I'm really in love with this and I can't remember who told me about it, but I'm so glad that they did. Really like this stuff a lot. Now, another one that I was really surprised about and so excited to be able to find something on Amazon that is so much like the Lumi deodorant, but this one is the Hello all over deodorant cream and this one is the sweet coconut you know what else i found um about this um oh let me just tell you about it it's basically a deodorant that you can use anywhere on your body i use this between my toes down there boob sweat i use this everywhere that i feel like i need the protection from body odor so this is really good and it lasts for 72 hours what i really liked about this though is lumi has a really funky set scent to it and they've tried to put different fragrances into it and it's just been like it just kind of has a little bit of a funky scent and this one does a tiny bit but not as bad as lumi this one is called sweet coconut and it's a little bit better as far as the fragrance goes but that 72 hour promise that lumi has and this has it does deliver that this is definitely going to last and last and last as far as keeping away any sort of body odor that you don't want there so i was really glad to find that as well now i also found these and no, this is not Charlotte Tilbury. This is obviously kind of a knockoff product. So it looks exactly like it. It's got the same gold packaging. This is called um, Lake or Rain, Lake Rain, probably. Not Lake or Rain, Lake Rain. Um, and it's the multi-use stick. I'm not exactly sure what color this is, but I am wearing this one today 
and this is such a good oh my gosh i hope this comes across on camera this is the perfect very ashy brown color that you want to contour with contour is about making whatever you want to not look pronounced recede and that's what this product does i love this and then they have another one this one is the blush one so they do have the blushes that they have these last like crazy they're very easy to blend then we've got this one as well and this one is more of a bronzy color so you can see the really stark difference between the contour and the bronze and you can use both if you want to but if you like a little bit more bronzed look you're looking for it to warm up your skin you're going to want to use the bronze if you're looking for something to carve out your cheekbones your jawline disguise the hairline all those things that's what that contour is and this is a good product love these they're so good and i was really glad to find something that was very close to the charlotte tilbury but didn't quite bring bake the but didn't quite bake but didn't quite break the bank. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury's are like 40 and these are like 10, so a fraction of the cost. So glad I found this. Another product that I had completely forgotten about and I'm so glad that I did find it again and it came up on my radar. I was looking for something for my chest because my chest is very speckly and when the sun comes out, it doesn't matter how much sunscreen I use, it's still that pigment because of what I've done to myself in the past is going to come out. But I'm always trying to lighten those that spotty look. Now, Penny from Pensmith Skin Care, she's an esthetician here on YouTube and I'll make sure that I link her channel below if you have not seen this gal. She is a wealth of information. She started talking about how good tranexamic acid is for doing that brightening of dark age spots or any sort of discoloration that we might have. And she turned me on to this one. It's the Tranex Deer Serum and it's the Tranexamic Acid 5% Dark Spot Corrector Skin Brightening and Anti-Aging Serum to get those dark spots, those age spots under control. I'm so glad that I found this again. Even just using this the couple weeks that I've had it back, I feel like everything's starting to starting to fade again, which I'm really excited about. You know, we get busy as YouTubers and we're trying the newest thing and we forget about the greatest things that we've tried. This is one of those. I think that you'll really like it if you're having a struggle with those dark spots as you age. I did get a chance to try this NYX Plump Right Back Serum Primer. This is a primer that has electrolytes in it, has a few vitamins in it that really help to revive our skin. This does not have any silicone in it under the ingredient deck and it doesn't have that slick property and it's not going to smooth your skin out before you put on your makeup. So if you're somebody that really has a lot of texture, this might not be quite right for you, but if you're somebody that really wants something to grip your makeup so that it stays on longer and you just need that boost of moisture and that extra dose of vitamins, this one's going to be really good for you. I did use this today underneath my makeup. I have been using this a lot lately, especially because it's summer and right now in August, it gets humid where I live. And as the humidity comes, if I've got silicone on and then my foundation on that has a silicone on it as well, I'm gonna see my foundation kind of slide a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have that as well, but in the hot, humid weather it just seems to slide around way too much way more than i want it to so before i get asked this question just let me answer it yes you can wear this with a silicone based makeup but remember that this is a lot about moisture when you talk about electrolytes for taking them into your body or drinking them that is for the extra hydration and it's the same kind of concept for your skin and when it says plump right back that's what it's trying to do is give you that dewy plumpy plumpy plump skin just so that your skin can plump right back and you know have that bounce to it now i will say that one thing about it is that you will find it to be a little bit tacky so if you're somebody that does not like that it does that something doesn't dry down you're not going to like this as well as you would one with silicone in it so this is still tacky it hasn't gone into my skin but again it's going to grab onto 
that foundation that you have and it's going to make that foundation wear longer but it's also going to make that foundation look more dewy through the day because it does have that extra hydration very recently i have switched over to doing my eyeliner a little bit differently and yes there will be a tutorial on that before very long but i have been in love with all of the nyx epic ink liners these are liners that you can put into the waterline. I've been doing that sometimes. And you put them into the waterline and these don't transfer. Like there's some of them that I've been trying out and I'll put it into the waterline and then all of a sudden it's already smearing because, you know, as we blink or our eyes tear or anything like that, it can smear a lot. Not with these. These stick around. And I really have been loving this color. And mostly because it's not a true gray and it's not a true black. It's in between. And let me see what this one is called. Otherwise, I'll just mess it up for you. It's black metal. So it's got that little bit of a shimmer in it. But boy, these last a long time. I would say that in the waterline, you're going to get about four hours, which is really good in the waterline. If your eyeliner is lasting longer than that in the waterline, guess what? You're not tearing enough. If you find one and you are tearing enough, but you find one that is staying in the waterline longer, you need to tell me in the comment section for sure, because I've never been able to get one to last between four and six hours, even in the dry weather, in the winter when the heater comes on. So these are awesome and they come in a ton of different colors. Two yes. blushes that I have fallen in love with for very different reasons. First of all, this is from Honest Beauty. These, this is her cream blush. I love these. I think I had one of these years ago when they very first came out and that was a while ago. They, I was going to get the one that looked like it was a little bit of a pinkish purple one, but I have so many of those and I'm actually going to be doing a video on those really soon because that's kind of the rage right now. But I really enjoyed how pretty this one is. Just kind of a perfect tonal peachy pink and I fell in love with it. Beautiful saturation on that. So you don't need much. I also like that it came in a tin. It has this cute little embossed butterfly and it has a mirror in there, but they have such pretty colors in this and so easy to blend out. It's super duper easy for it to blend out. You don't need much at all for it to look really natural and really pretty on your skin. So I'm really impressed with this. I am wearing it today. I think it's very subtle as you blend it out. If you want your eyes to be the focus and not your cheeks, then you know you just blend it out a little bit more, but so pretty. And I love the formula on it because it sticks around a long time, super blendable, super easy, but you can build it up if you need to, just really pretty. And then the other one that I got is from Julep. And this one, I don't know if you can even buy Julep many different places other than on Amazon and maybe Julep's website itself. So this one though, it has a very subtle sheen in it. So it is so pretty. So you get the two in one, you get the highlighter in there and you get the blush. And that is just a gorgeous, gorgeous look. If you're somebody that really feels like, hey, I can't wear extra highlighter, then you might really like wearing something like this. You could wear this underneath, you know, a matte blush and have that show through just a little bit, or you could wear just a tiny bit of it on top of a matte blush and have a little bit more glow. So pretty. I really have been enjoying this one as well. Tulip has really surprised me in how well their products stay on. I didn't know that Julep was a company that touted long lasting makeup. Their eyeliners are really good for that as well. They're a lot like the NYX ones. They're a little bit more expensive than those, but I really have been enjoying their makeup just for the lasting power on them. And this one is beautiful with that subtle glow to it as well. Let's shift over a little bit to some fashion. All right, so the top that I have on is lace all around the trim for a cold shoulder effect with lace being the strap type things right here. I either tuck my bra in the one that I regularly wear or I wear a strapless bra and it covers the booty. I really like that about it. It's a very soft knit fabric, comes in a ton of different colors. And I know that I've talked a lot about these compression leggings that I wear. I've had to wear these for a year since I had my tummy tuck and they are 
amazing. They hold everything in. My legs are very dimply from cellulite. You can't tell because they're a little bit thicker. So in the summertime, they're probably going to be too hot for most people, but I really have enjoyed wearing them. And the ripping around the waist is amazing. And these come in a ton of colors as well. And they go clear down to the ankle, as you can Gosh. see right there. So. I have been absolutely in love with these heels. This is a slide heel and it has this gorgeous chain on it. Isn't that beautiful? So this comes in three colors and I think that it's three different gradients of brown. And I believe this is the cognac color. It also has the alligator print on it, which I love. Has more of a square toe, which I love as well. It does have probably, I would say a two and a half inch heel. And with the back of it, it's probably more like a three inch heel. But I don't find that these are terribly uncomfortable. I've been getting my heels a little bit lower Lower and lower but I still love me a good heel I'm somebody that probably will never want to give up my heels until I break my neck on them or something but these are comfy they slide on wear them with jeans wear them to dress up your dresses or your skirts last weekend when I wore them I wore them with capris and I got so many compliments on them because then they were shown off and they're just they're really, really pretty. I love that they put this chain detail on there. Also, when I picked these up, I picked up this purse that matches it, which you guys know, I say this every time, it would not be an Amazon haul without me showing you some purses that I love. So this is a crossbody bag, but it has the handle that goes on the top of it. And the other thing is, is it's not so small that I can't fit a lot of stuff in it because I still have a tendency to carry a lot of stuff even though I'm trying to cut back with these smaller bags because of my shoulders so this has two main pockets in it then the zipper pocket then it has the coin pocket in the back it will stand up by itself that's actually why I like it because it has some form to it and I don't have to you know go digging like you do when you have a hobo bag and you can't find anything in the bottom of the abyss I love the detailing in it I love that it's got the two tones in it they have a bunch of different colors but I think that they only have a couple of them that are tonal like this it does have the adjustable strap which I like and I love the gold accents on it I know that there's a smaller version too but I loved this one and then, and then the purse that I'm using currently I am in love with I love this purse as far as the way that it's laid out I love that it has this thick shoulder strap right here it doesn't cut into your neck, you know, when you do wear it across your shoulders. So it's a uh, crossbody bag. I also love this cute little tassel detail with the butterfly that hangs off of the front. It has three pockets right here and it does have the zipper pocket that keeps everything very secure in there. And then it has the pocket in the back that has another zipper pocket. This purse I am in love with. I just think it's one of the cutest purses that I've had in a long time. It holds a ton. I was really surprised about that. And it has the security of having the zipper in the, in the front. Again, it does stand up by itself, so you're not gonna have a tipping over in the car, and you're not gonna have to rifle through it and figure out what's in the very bottom, because you can see, because it's pretty shallow. So really love this one, really love both of them, but this one is the one that I'm using right now and really loving a lot. It's really cute. One more thing from fashion, and I know that this is a little early, but I got these because, oops, there's the necklace that I wanted to show you. I'll show you that next. These are some slippers that I bought during Prime Days, and I love these. Not only are they super comfy, but usually when I buy a slipper, because slippers aren't the exact size, I buy a little bit bigger size. I bought my exact size in these, and they fit so good that I never feel like I'm gonna stumble over my own feet. I don't know if any of you have that problem like I do, but occasionally when I when I buy a slipper, it's just too loose. And I feel like I'm gonna, you know, lose my balance or catch myself on the carpet or something sometimes. But these are great. And I really have been loving how gripping they are. So I can wear them out to the mailbox if I need to. But they're so fun. They have this sweater-like material right here. It's not like the normal velour or velvet that you have. It's this really beautiful sweater material. Very cushiony. I like the memory foam in it as well. These are great. You can just slip them on. I like slippers that you can just slip your slide your foot into instead of the ones that you have to, you know, fiddle with the back of them. So these are really good. And here I'll show you that necklace. 
that we were just uh, get digging out of the bottom of that shoe. This is such a pretty choker. It has the rhinestones on one heart and then just the silver on the other. I love this choker. I didn't wear it today because I did want to wear my gold earrings, but boy, I love these chokers any other time of year. And I was really surprised at how nice this particular choker is. Now it does have an extender on it. I would say that's probably like maybe a two and a half inch extender on it. So you won't have to wear it as a choker if you don't want to, but so pretty. I'm a heart person when it comes to jewelry. One time I heard somebody say something about that hearts aren't classy. I'm like, baloney, hearts are timeless. So personally, I love wearing hearts. I think they're fun um, any time of year. And then I will show you my puffy half hoops. I think these are so cute. I got these in the summer and have worn them a ton and they're really light. I was really surprised. They are a gold tone, but they do come in the silver tone as well. And they are, like I said, they're super light. I think they have a couple different sizes of these. So if you don't like the bigger ones, you can definitely, you know, go for the smaller ones. These are just really cute. Only they're a couple more things and then I'm done. I recently found magnesium glyconate high absorption. That's what the, these are. Um, they're from Nature's Branch. Yeah, Nature Branch. These are a tablet. They're not a capsule. The capsule ones, um, they're kind of, they get stuck in my throat, but these are good because they melt away very easily. They don't have a lot of coating on them. They're not super hard, so they're going to get absorbed into your body, which is great. I also like the, the fact that they're glyconate. Citrate is what I was wearing, using, wearing, using for a long time. And I found that these are specifically for our, the foggy brain that we get. I, I have a foggy, really foggy brain since my surgery. These are also to support hair loss, weight loss, skin, nails, all that kind of stuff. Do your research, there's a ton of different kinds of magnesium. And for me, this just happened to fit what I wanted specifically. But something like 90% of, of the people in the United States are deficient in magnesium. And it can cause all kinds of problems. So definitely do your research, read up what is on this page about this, and then go do some outside research about magnesium. I was really surprised what the difference in magnesiums are and which one was best for me. So definitely look into that. And then I'm gonna leave you with something really fun. Now, I promised you that I would do a home tour and I still will do that, but I wanted to just show you this really fun bowl that I got. This is a wooden bowl. It is kind of a farmhouse type style, but this could go in just about any style, shabby chic, country, even modern if you didn't wanna put, you know, like these fake glow ball things in there. These are separate, these come separately. So I will be linking both the bowl and the little balls that are inside of it separately. These are super light. They're just decorative, fun little things that I put in here. I love the white on white look. This sits on my bar. I have a really long, huge bar. So it sits on my bar or my island and just really is elevates the look of the whole area. And I love these. I am going to bring you that tour very soon, but I would like to know beforehand if you guys would like me to link the things that I've gotten off of Amazon, because I have done almost my whole house in different things that I got from Amazon. Now, a lot of stuff that I got, I did get off of like Facebook Marketplace, the big things that are furniture that I couldn't afford that I needed to buy used. But a lot of the things I did get off of Amazon and I wanted to know if you guys wanted me to show you what I did get off of Amazon and link that down below for you. Just let me know that in the comment section whether or not you would like that. And so that does round up the video for today. Thank you so much for being with me. If you do enjoy this kind of content and you're new to my channel, will you please smash that subscribe button? Please everyone give this a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind doing that really quickly. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope that you're all safe and please take care of yourselves. And I love you very much and I can't wait to be with you again in my next video.